Well, it's, it's complicated because cardiorespiratory fitness is determined primarily by your physical activity habits. Now, there is a genetic component, just like there is for anything else we can measure in human beings, blood pressure, cholesterol, height. Yes, some of us are normal height, and there's some genetic freaks in the world. These people way, way, way up here. So yeah, there's a genetic component that is determined primarily by your physical activity habits. Now, that doesn't mean that it has to be running or swimming or playing tennis or, or, or other sports. It's how much do you get up and move uh, around. So to get out of the low fitness category, which is associated with much higher risk of death and, and disease, what you need to do is about 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity activity, such as walking. And we would say, well, these need to be at least 10 minute bouts. So three 10 minute bouts of walking a day on five days of the week will get you out of that low fit category. So it doesn't take a huge amount of activity. But then, of course, there is the sedentary. What does that mean? Well, that, I think that has largely come to mean just sitting, sitting, sitting. And we have a lot of data showing that excessive sitting is associated with various uh, health problems. But you could sit a lot and still go out and run five miles every day, and you'd have good fitness, and the sitting probably wouldn't be a problem. But still, sitting too much too long a time is something that we should not do so much. Get up and move around a little bit and we're even beginning to get some evidence and I have believed this for a long time. You've been sitting there working at your computer for two or three hours. Get up and take a 10 minute walk. You feel better when you come and your brain even in fact works better. So let's avoid, avoid being completely sedentary too much of the time but let's also get that 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity a week or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity activity a week. And those numbers have been from many countries, Canada, the US, Australia, Finland, and not too many years ago, the World Health Organization. So those are widespread around the world. And by the way, You'll note that the minutes of intense activity, which would be jogging or strenuous sports, uh, it's only half as many minutes, but you can also mix and match. One minute of high intensity is equal to two minutes of moderate. So you could do 10 minutes of high intensity two or three days a week, multiply those minutes by two, and then subtract that from 150 and be sure you're getting the other amount of moderate intensity minutes.